You're not quite yourself lately. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Then, please don't look away. I can't look at hotness after what I've done. I don't deserve your hotness. And Nisidia, we had to rob from the innocent people. Oh dear. I'm just a dark knight with no courage to disobey his majesty. The real Cecil I know would never whimper like this. You are going to miss tomorrow, right? If anything should happen to you. Don't worry. Kane is coming too. Yeah, he'll, he'll really save our ass. We are nothing without Kane. It's late. Go back to your room. Take care. Thanks, Rosa. Still, I am just a dark knight. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the franchise, once again, that they did bring back the jobs, uh, but instead of having you choose between jobs, these are uh, character-restricted jobs. Let's go, Cecil. Outside the castle is the city of Baron. Let's gather information and equipment in the city. Uh, basically, once a character is a, a certain job class, uh, for the most part, it cannot be changed. So Cecil is, is, is going to be a Dark Knight. I don't have a choice. Kane uh, is going to be a Dragoon. And I have no choice. Rosa is always going to be a White Wizard. I have no choice. And now it's time for the proper introduction screen. Because we didn't know what we were playing before. Yes, it, it takes a little bit of time for the text to show up in these things. I don't know why. Thus, the Dark Knight Cecil was expelled from his command as a captain of the Red Wings. And he and Dragoon Kane left Baron for the village mist in a valley enclosed in deep fog. Why not just say mist? Why'd you have to say it's in fog? They call it the village of mist because it's around mist. Makes sense to me. Airships had been a dream of many people. After the realization of the dream came greed and ambition. Why is there a comma there? Make me sound bad when you put a comma there. There's two moons? Just notice that. Through its fleet of airships, Baron became the most powerful nation. But why is Baron seeking the crystals? Why do the monsters keep increasing? I, I don't know, really. Nobody's really given me enough information. If it's anything like Final Fantasy IX, it's because of the mist, I have to assume. The crystal was shedding its light silently. Oh no, its, its power is waning. What's with the ellipses? They look weird. You put like six of them together and the middle two are way too close. I don't understand, game. I don't understand. And now we've made it to the world map. You gotta love world maps. Let's take a look at our party, though. Uh, basically, I have a level 10 Dragoon and Kane. And uh, Cecil is also a level 10, but he is a Dark Knight. Oh, wrong button, sorry. I'm gonna have to switch my button layout a little bit. Uh, he's got, he is a left-handed uh, player. Uh, left-handed Dragoon, I guess you could say. He's got a spear in the left hand, an iron shield in the right hand. An uh, iron helm, iron body armor, and iron arm armor. I don't know what you call it. We, but we definitely have a package, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at Cecil's equipment. Yeah, he is right handed. He's got a shadow blade, shadow uh, shield, and you know, everything is just all shadow. Uh, an attack of 15, defense of 17. I didn't go over Kane's. 13, 14. So honestly, why, you know, when Kane's coming along, it's supposed to be really good. I, I don't understand. Now, as for the form, basically, uh, there are two, there are five spots here. You know, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the way that I'm going to have this set up for, for quite some time is one, three, and five are going to be in the front row. And when you put it that way, that means two and four have to be in the back row. 
or you can switch it the other way here and put everybody in the back and put one, three, and five in the back row, two and four in the front row. Uh, yes, there are five party members that you can have at one time here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop a save now that I have done everything in Baron, and I will be right back. Now that that's done, let's head into the town of Baron, as we were told to. What is up? Sus of the Red Wing Misty Valley is beyond the cave of Northwest. <laughs> ah. Just, just, okay. I don't know who translated this game, but... Whew, not very good. We teach you how to advance in your adventure. You better listen to the instructions. We may not go far. We might as well check this out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, yes, I've already saved. We know how to do that. When you hear a new name, you better note its direction. Same as maps. The upper part means north. <laughs> Lower south. <laughs> Left means... Yeah, I, I, I understand cardinal directions. Thank you for that, though. Uh, yes, better to save... Right, because if, if everybody dies, you can restart from there. You can make a total of four saves. You better make more than two in case a save should be lost. Specifying where to save the data your, your family can enjoy the... What? <laughs> They're basically saying, hey, get your mom to play Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, of course. He's everywhere. Find him in town. So yes, here is my first opportunity to rename characters. Only one person will be shown. You can select that person by the R button. So, you can you can change which party member is on the map. I probably won't be doing that too often, though. You can't go inside of places with chocobos. Get off of chocobos first. They will turn to their woods when they're freed. Lived in the round shape forest. So, chocobos have made a comeback in this game as well. Now, they are very useful for when I don't want to encounter enemies, but you don't want to make it too big of a habit of doing that, otherwise you'll be underleveled everywhere you go. They are ostrich-like birds, which can be used as transportation. So they're halfway between an ostrich and a horse. Awesome. Now, this is the guy that I was talking about before. His name is Naming Way. Uh, I don't want to change my name right now. Once again, I'm going to give everybody an opportunity if you want to uh, be named after after the, any of the characters. You know, feel free to put your name in the, in the ring, but really th they kind of want you to go by the uh, by the standard names. So I'm going to stick with those for at least a few videos before I start uh, changing names. What's up, dude? Alright, go to the big chocobos and leave items in their care. So basically... There is a limit. You know, use a carrot when it smells like chocobos. Big chocobos will surely appear. Uh, basically, it's it's a fat chocobo, and carrot is is what they use for gasol greens around here. Just, you know, some of the early games they they got some of the lore wrong. What do you want me to say? If you read the world slowly and reduce the battle message speed, of course, I shouldn't have too big of a problem with it though. Uh, right, of course. Uh-huh, I already went over that. Uh, basically, in battle, you can use the change command to change the front and rear rows. Uh, by pushing the right, you can select parry, which is defend. Right, when you're losing a battle, don't hesitate to run away by pushing the escape buttons, L and R. It's the first time I think that we have had that option. Yeah. In the battles, you can cast spell on all enemies by pushing the control off to the left, and all enemies by pushing to the right. Awesome, so yeah, you can cast it on everybody, which is always fun. You may drop you may drop some money when escaping from battle, which is never a good sign. Zombies and skeletons. Uh, they receive great damage from fire and cure magic. So this is the first time that they've actually said, hey, undead enemies, you can cure them to death. Monsters living in water are weak against the attacks of thunder. Awesome. Some monsters have their... Monster of fire is weak against coldness. Monster of ice is weak against fire. See? I see that you failed your English class. You can equip weapons on certain hands. Right. You can also equip dual wield in this game. Don't run out of arrows. Obviously bows aren't good. Right. 
Yes, I know how to equip and all that kind of stuff. This is really one of the introductions to Final Fantasy, I think. Uh, they really tried to relaunch the franchise with Final Fantasy IV, if you ask me. Uh, after 1 and 2 and 3, uh, they, they kind of felt like this was the actual like introduction to the series. Uh, there is an item shop in here. I do need to get some items. And don't forget to take Cure, Heal, and Tend so we tough outside the the town you know cures are basically your potions I will take some I do like that you can buy 10 at a time if you so choose um, I'm going to go with uh, I'm gonna go with one one tent and three cures now look at that the ether man <laughs> 10,000 gil for an ether. Just absolutely ridiculous. And they offer it in the first town, like I have ten What the hell? Oh crap, what did it say this place was? I went out of the screen too fast. Serpent Road? What the hell? This is the Serpent Road. That leads to Mysidia, but now Mysidia has sealed the road, so we can't use the Serpent Road. Surely that'll never come into being that we'll have to use that ever again. This door is locked. There is a weapon and armor shop here, but that is also locked. So we're pretty much done here. Uh, you can heal in the end if you want to do some level grinding, but I don't feel the need to do that. So we need to head northwest like we were told, but first we have our first battle against imps. Uh, okay, as Cain, you, you can use, uh, you can either fight or you can jump. Uh, we're pretty much going to go for fight because that kills everything. Jump, I'm, I, I use more often for uh, for boss battles than anything else. Now, it's hard to tell because there's no bar, but this is definitely an active time system. You get 30 gold, 30... I keep on calling it gold. You get 30 gil, 30 experience points. So we need to head northwest like we were told. There's supposed to be a cave around here somewhere. I want in the cave. There it is. Let's go ahead and go inside the Misty Cave. And one step in, we've already got a fight against sword rats and imps. Yeah, once again, everything should die. And yes, this is one of the first games. It might actually be the first game where if you kill an enemy after you've uh, selected a character to fight it, uh, then the, the character will just move over to the next one. Usually, like, the, the, the turn is wasted. You get 60 gil, 90 experience. Who calls it GP? Like, seriously. Now, there's only one way we can go right now. But, are there going to be new enemies here? No, six imps. I'm going to cut these out from now on. So we need to keep going through the cave. I, I don't see any treasure yet. You notice that it's kind of misty in here. That's probably why they call it the Misty Cave, not because we are going to be finding a Pokemon Gym Leader. Even though I did have a crush on Misty when I was growing up. I think, I think a lot of us did. Go back! Who is it? It's, uh, I'm sure it's not important at all. Let's just keep going. We get a, a cure one out of there. I might end up just calling those potions out of habit. I do apologize if I do. Let's go up here first because there is a treasure chest that I want to get a heal out of, which is nice, always nice. And I think those are the only two enemies here, so I might just cut the rest of these out from now on. Okay, let's go down these, and I see another treasure chest over there. I want what's inside. So let's go over to the left, climb up these stairs. Why there are stairs in a cave is beyond me, but you, you learn not to question these things as you go through the game. So I'm, I'm just not going to question it either. And one more chest over there to the, to the right.